Now, so I think this morning we've seen a, a few mentions around um, implementing a, a pilot or a proof of concept. So, um, I'll start with you, Isaac, in terms of what are the components you have to consider when you are uh, implementing a, a POC? Yeah, look, I think the first thing is, is really to understand, you know, wh what are the type of opportunities that you, that you do want to automate? And, um, and why, why are you actually looking at, at automation in the first place? From our perspective, it was really just an extension um, from our business process, business process management capability. We, um, we invested in, in, in workflow automation a couple of years ago, and we saw this as a logical next step in terms of the evolution of, of that automation platform. So, um, so we decided to, to, to go the, the proof of concept route where we, um, where we partnered up with, with the implementation partner, PwC, and, um, and we just basically, uh, you know, we, we looked at the opportunities. We, we started off by, by, by assessing the opportunities and, and making sure that it is the right opportunity from an automation perspective. So really understanding, you know, the business rules um, that, 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 that sits underneath, the activities that's performed, um, the, 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 the volumes, um, the people component in terms of the activities that they do. And then from there, quickly moving into a, a automation design. And I think, you know, really, really important to, to collaborate with, with the, business, you know, the business people from that perspective as well. Our, our point of view has always been that, that, you know, business process automation and specifically robotics process automation is not a technology thing. It's a real business imperative in terms of, first of all, how do we improve our business, you know, our efficiency as a business, but also how do we, you know, how do we improve our services and, and there was a big strategic driver from that perspective as well. So it's really important, you know, to, to bring those, those perspectives into, into, um, into the POC as well. From there, we, you know, we procured the software, um, real, real, real quick process. We, um, we configured the process, basically. We developed the business case. So, so why, you know, what are the benefits that we're looking at? And then it was just a matter of, of get going, and, and we did the implementation. Um, around around the POC. So the first process that we that we did automate was was in the transcript you know um, space where students would request transcripts of the, of their degrees and and so forth. And we felt that that process really had a good balance in terms of complexity around the activities and 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 and, and the staff that performs those activities, but also around you know the inter the systems that we use in that process. And um, and I think that's an important consideration in terms of making sure that you, that you choose the right process that's going to provide the right benefits for you to make uh, you know, the decisions in terms of how you want to continue with, with, with RPA.